eye combat, and today I'm going to show you the IR headband. The IR headband is our head sensor for the eye combat entertainment system. It can also be used with the tactical system or any of the products that we make today. The headband is completely wireless, so it does not have to be attached to your gun or the vest if you want to add more sensors. I'll show you how to sync it in a minute. And it also has a built-in box on the back, which gives you a lot of cool new features and modes, and it also has a couple buttons. On the top, there's a recharger port, which you can use with a supplied USB charger. There's a, a strap on the back that you can adjust it, just pull that to tighten it or open it up to loosen it. This will fit on a helmet or a hat or whatever, you can wear it just on your head as well. It's also made out of, of a nice Cordura, so you can also wipe it down with a Lysol wipe, and you can keep it clean. There's a couple of sensors built in, there's also a sensor built into the box, so you can get shot in the back. And there's a beeper as well, so the wearer has an audible clue as to when they get shot. Holding the power button, I'll turn it on. And then you'll also notice an S, which stands for sync. A C, which stands for the CCM. And then you have your mode button, which you can click to cycle through. This can be used with or without the eye combat software, the ICE engine. You can also use it just like the vest in standalone mode. And if you click through the mode, you can have it give you um, a couple different lives. So you can have it in mode 1, where if you get shot once, you're eliminated. If you get shot twice, the second shot will eliminate you, the first shot will keep you in the game, and then mode 3 just lets you keep playing continuously and you can keep getting hit. The headband, like I said, can be used without the vest, so you can also sync weapons to this, and you can also sync the shock belt to this, and you can also sync it to the ICE software, and everything is completely done right through here. So you don't need to have the vest, although a lot of players will wear both, just to get that full coverage. To sync the headband to the vest, all you do is make sure your vest is on, click the helmet button so that it flashes, and then on your headband, click the S button, the sync button, until it flashes. Hold it up to one of the sensors, you'll hear the beep and the sync, and that'll confirm the sync. The headband has a couple of cool built-in modes that only we have. One of those is medic mode. On the back here, if you are using medic mode, but you need to have a licensed software used with the ICE software, and you have to program it through there, not available in standard mode or standalone mode, what that means is the player will wear this with the box on the front, and that emits a revival command. So players who are eliminated can stand still or whatever you want to do with your games. The medic can come up to them, point at the vest, and then that player will come back into the game. You can also do something similar with our zombie mode, which is also built into the ice software. You have to be a license user for that as well. And you can set it so that when a player gets close enough to another player, it'll automatically eliminate them the same way. Now, they don't have to touch them. It makes it very safe for your Halloween games. Again, the IR headband is completely wireless, so it's not tethered to any of our gear. Yet it is synced, so when a player is eliminated, it will disable all that gear that's connected on here, and that will prevent cheating. The IR headband is an exciting piece of technology that we have. It's one of the only wireless ones in the business, if not the only in the United States. And you can use that with the entertainment system as well, like I said, without the vest. That way it's easier for kids, easier for you to maintain. The battery life is quite significant on there, so just keep it charged if you want. Otherwise, it will last you for hours, if not days.